I memorized it. What's up, oh, my great. YouTube friends? Okay. No, I this is not a holiday so video, but I do have one coming soon. Today, we'll we're going to be talking here, about like, knives from okay. Finland okay. Right. and Thanks. Norway. Okay. Knives okay. of okay. the North. So let's have a little fun, okay. shall we? Good day and welcome to the Cowboy Seabop Show. Hey, I know this song is basically aimed at Canada, but I couldn't find another song that would, you know, represent the Great White North. We're talking, you know, Arctic Circle. We're talking Finland and Norway. Getty yeah, Lee, yeah? Okay, so good day. Our topic All right, today so anyway, my topic today is knives. All right, so I'm paying homage uh, to the Puko and the Laku, all right? The Puko is basically a Finnish knife. Small guy, sharp, super sharp. I had purchased this, and then I had purchased these two. So let's just talk about these two real quick. I did a video a long time ago on them. Let's just see how they're holding up, all right? These two are by Martini. One is called the Condor Bowie Knife. That's this guy right here. Comes in a gorgeous leather sheath. Check out the sharpness on this bad boy. Insane. And then we got, hold on, I'm, I'm, I'm losing my train of thought. All right, that's enough of that. All right, so anyway, this one is the Martini uh, Condor Bowie Knife. Nine and a quarter inch overall, four and a half inch blade, 420 stainless steel, leather sheath. It's got the Kraton rubber handle made in Finland. This knife is wicked awesome. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Next up, we got the Martini Big Game Hunter. All right, this is a, this is a Grand Slam knife right here. Again, leather sheath overall. A little over 10 inches, about 10 and an eighth, with a five inch blade, 420 stainless steel, basically just a, a bigger version of this guy. All right. Another wicked awesome blade with that black rubber craton handle. Sharpness. I've had these for quite a few years. There we go. We're going to get to the big guy soon. That's even better than the first one. All right, the Martini Big Game Hunter. Gorgeous. Both made in Finland, both awesome, both I highly recommend. All right, but this guy was my original Puko. They call this the Arctic Circle. All right, it's got that, that Scandinavian you know, leather sheath with that little knot at the bottom, a little drainage right there in case you get water in it. Uh, Birchwood handle. Let me see, it says Arctic Circle right on the sheath. All right. Yeah, this is definitely my smallest and my oldest. It's, go it's gonna make an excellent sidekick to the big boy. All right. Seven and three quarter inch overall. With a three and a half inch blade, high carbon steel, leather sheath, birchwood handle. This is a must, all right? 
Yes, I have tons of blades. Could that truck get any louder? My God. I have tons of blades. This is definitely an awesome EDC right here. All right? Razor, razor sharp, ladies and gentlemen. Razor sharp. Okay, so that was my basic uh, nod, you know, and approval to Finland for these awesome blades right here. So about a month ago or so, I was talking to a fellow YouTuber, shout out time, Jamie Lyon. I had done a video on my Odin custom made and I told him, you know, told everybody about why I call it Odin. And he had said, you know, it reminds me of a Leku. And I'm like, what is a Leku? I don't even know if I'm saying it right. I have no idea. A Leku. So I did some research. This beautiful beast came from Norway. It's by a company called Stroming. All right. Stroming. S-T-R-O-M-E-N-G. This is the KS9. It's a Scandinavian knife from Norway. All right. This is basically the largest Puko you'll find. Right? Although, like Puko, I believe means knife. So I'm thinking Le Coup means big knife. No, I think it means white. I don't know, all right? Could be wrong, all right? This is from the Stromang factory located in Karasjok, Norway, far north of the Arctic Circle. The handles provide a firm grip even when using with gloves or mittens. It's a full purpose knife for butchering game, skinning hide, cutting firewood, basic bushcraft, camping tasks, or self-defense. Now check this out. The Stromang family, they have been making knives for almost 200 years, for over 200 years. And it's been a tradition for the fathers to teach their sons the craft and techniques that continue today. All right, they, they keep the legacy going here. The she's, first of all, all right, it's got the Same uh, flag. The Same spelled S-A-M-I. They're an ingenuous, ingenuous, I can't say that word. <laughs> well, they're, well, they're the, uh, the people far Norway. It's like a, kind of like a tribe, I believe. And they believe that the flag, the brass is, is very sacred and it will keep evil spirits away from the owner. We'll get to that in a second, all right? So just don't take the knife. First of all, this is made out of deer skin. Scandinavian sheath with the knot at the end, all right? and a three inch loop up here. You just can't reach in there and grab this sucker out. You're supposed to press on this brass, all right? I think I'm doing that right. Yep, press on the brass to withdraw and put it back in, okay? So press on that brass. So this is the beautiful, leather sheath even has some markings on it i don't know if that's a number nine or a number oh it's a nine duh it's a ks9 stromeg ks9 and i like the deer that's on the sheath that just adds to the touch so when i found this i'm thinking oh my god i'm gonna wait six months to receive Nope. There's a, a seller located in New York, United States, 
for those that don't know. And I bought it on eBay and it was on my front porch in three days, three business days, over the moon. And let me see, do I have his information? Yes, the seller is Constantine Armory on eBay. It's going to run you about 111 bucks. Look at this gorgeous knife. 14 inches overall. Nine inch blade. Inch and a half inch wide. A four and three quarter inch handle. The handle is made of birch wood. Three millimeter thick and it's thin for a reason, right? It's definitely more manageable for those smaller tasks that you need. I don't need this for smaller tasks. That's what this Puko is for. Anyway, weighs 10.5 ounces. I believe that's just the knife alone. And the pummel has a brass butt with a tack. Okay, brass guard. Made of high carbon steel. Again, the brass is sacred. I'm gonna read a little bit of that. So, I read nothing but amazing reviews on this. Jamie Lyon, thank you so much for introducing this to me. Wasn't sure I was gonna use it. They say it's hardened to 59 Rockwell. It's got a Scandi grind, very easy to sharpen. You don't need all these tools and all that nonsense. You just need a flat stone. All right, nine inch Stroming LeCou is the largest of the Stroming LeCous. So the KS9 is the big boy, all right? Comes with this uh, pamphlet. You guys like that word, pamphlet, pamphlet. <laughs> all right, can you guys give me a second? I gotta get my reading glasses. Can't see that. Where'd you go? Where'd you go? Take off. I can't get that out of my head. I can't get it out of my head. What is an authentic Same knife? Well, it's a Same produced knife which fulfills Same needs for a strong and reliable tool. The design of the knife is the same today as it was hundreds of years ago. There are many domestic and foreign knife manufacturers produce copies of the genuine Same knife. Same, Sami, you tell me. To be sure of authenticity, look for the symbol. That symbol is that right there, the flag. Remember, squeeze in, squeeze out. The handle fittings have been constructed of brass since the pre-Christian era. The Same have regarded the brass as a sacred metal. It was supposed to keep evil spirits away from the owner. Ancient Sami folk medicine made use of the knife when treating ailments such as warts, boils, pains, and when stopping blood. Maybe this will cure me of my, uh, my, uh, my blood clot, you know, maybe I can stop taking the medicine. As a gift, the Same knife has its natural function. The Same children receive their first knife anywhere between the ages of eight and 10 years old. All right. On the blade itself has the word or the name Nivsmed. That's K-N-I-V-S-M-E-D. And then a the flag, and then Stromengas. Stromengas. All right. So I used this a uh, couple of times, and yes, 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 it is a sharp, beautiful knife. I don't need this anymore, do I? No. All right, back to the shades. I got bad eyes, everybody. Very bad eyes. Out of the box, I've never touched this, so let's just check out the sharpness, shall we?
Okay, we know it's sharp. Try this one. Still, for a nine inch blade, this is uh, super sharp, but not as razor sharp as this guy from Martini. This thing is off the charts sharp. Doesn't need to get any more sharper than that. Okay. Take off. Shall we uh, just cut a little wood? Hmm? Shall we? Do I have me a stick? Yes, I do. All right. Gonna get a little dirty here, ladies and gents. You should have planned ahead. You should have planned ahead. All right. All right. Let's have a little fun. Me in focus. Yeah, that's power's already done. Here we go. No problems, but so ever. Be careful. I'm just gonna do some whacking, and we're gonna check. The edge. That's all we gonna do. Oh, I shouldn't have thrown that. Oh, I think I got a piece of paper left. Those burrs. Burrs. Here we go again. Make a nice kindling rather fast. I mean, these knives have been used for over 200 years. Can't beat that. Oh, it's gonna be pumpkin carbon time. All right, yes, excellent, excellent. We're going through wood. Let me just check this edge real quick. We're not getting too crazy. It's already a long enough video. forget my holiday video is coming in December I do plan on taking a break I'm only gonna come back three more times after today three more times oh yeah that blades that blades fine a little dirty but that'll polish up nice let's see Yep, still razor sharp. All right, let's uh, finish off with a splash, shall we? Don't get that wet. Take off. Take off, it's a beauty way to go. What'd I do? Oh, I just knocked it over. All right, let's try this again. Shall we? There we go. I must have held the wrong end. <laughs> All right. What else did I want to do? I wanted to do something else in it. Damn it. That song really threw me off. Stromeg, La Coup. This is basically paying, you know, homage to the heritage of the fine uh, folks of Norway, all right? Now, I'm more of a collector than anything. And without this being in my collection, I felt incomplete. You know what I mean? I've paid homage to so many different countries with their knives. USA, Italy, Nepal, France, Germany, Spain. So now I just added Norway to the list, all right? 
what a fun little knife. All right, I am gonna uh, clean this up, make it look new again. But in the meantime, um, before I even begin to do that, I have more fun to do first, all right? I, I do definitely wanna uh, use this a little bit more. Anyway, uh, I have like two or three more videos left and then it's time for a nice long break. That's it, all right? And I'll see you guys for season four on January 1st, 2022 or thereabouts. I still am gonna do a holiday video though, all right? you know christmas time and uh that's about it all right guys thanks so much for watching for um supporting my channel you know like the video you know what to do hit the sub button ring that bell if you don't like it hit the thumbs down tell me why this channel doesn't get any better unless you tell me why all right take care everybody stay strong see you soon